going on guys it is your boy Siso here bring guys a Photoshop tutorial here today bring you guys another advertisement slash push design tutorial and pretty much I haven't done one in a very very long time probably like three months probably a little less I don't know but today we're doing a cool little smoke texture uh, atmosphere kind of like you know feel of a poster or advertisement whatever you're gonna do for um so here's my example of course you have the Razer Mamba 2016 a little addition here and it looks freaking beautiful I love I love how like the I love the atmosphere of smoke um, like blending smoke on a black background may not be the easiest thing in the world or kind of like maybe it's the opposite maybe it's like white background smoke but either way working with something that you're trying to create some sort of atmosphere with and only using that kind of like you know feel of like smoke and like things like that it's not that easy you know to set up and actually like make it look really nice and sleek and not look so sloppy or you know like pasty with like these random smoke textures so um, pretty much, yeah, I want to show you this as well. I made, like, an example as, like, using smoke and, like, fire kind of, like, in the background of here. Um, this goes the same way. I made, like, this, you know, kind of, you know, stuff back here. Nothing, this is not one whole stock. This smoke texture is one thing. There's, like, you know, this is actually probably, like, this little spot as the smoke texture itself. Um, you know, and they got this, uh, texture over here. And they got this texture here. And they got the, this texture here. Um, and then you cut it out just to make it look all cool. So this, like, you know, this, what I did over here, from gonna do, what, what I'm going to do for this tutorial is basically what you guys can do. You can make something like out of, like out of this as well. Um, it all goes hand-to-hand. -hand it's really freaking dope and fun. So, yeah. All right, so let's get that going here today. So the only thing you're going to need, of course, I'm going to put the smoke texture I'm going to be using in the description down below. I just, I literally just typed in uh, smoke textures, or no, smoke stocks. And I found a site that, you know, I was I was able to download a nice little HD smoke texture. So that's what I have here. It's all rasterized and ready for me to go. So that's what I have here. I'll put it uh, in the description down below for you guys to get it as well. And, of course, I have my little focus of my advertisement thing, um, which is the Razer Mamba Mouse. So, of course, it doesn't have to be an advertiser design. It doesn't have to be a poster design. I always say it for these things. But I just like to use, you know, an example that someone can relate to to try and design off of. For me, like to show the main part, which was which would be like the smoke texture stuff. So to start this off, it's pretty like fun. It's gonna it's gonna be really fun. I love the way you know this looks, and all of a sudden you'll be like, all right, how are we gonna make that this? You know, it's just one of those things. It's gonna be fun. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a new layer, and pretty much what we're gonna do is all backspace. Make sure that your foreground and your background is white and black for this. If it's not already, you can just click this little thing right here, and it makes it white and black because we're gonna need the cloud. So we're going to go to filter and we're going to go ahead and go to render and go to cloud so pretty much if you guys don't know this already probably in like every photography class or I mean Photoshop class in like high school they probably taught you clouds so yeah you're not too new to this pretty much what I'm gonna do with these clouds here is I'm just gonna erase basically I'm gonna just only cut like this corner I'm gonna like leave this corner only here um not leave so much you know I don't actually have to leave like I'll make it very skinny at the top here and somehow, somehow that's, there's a brush hit. All right, whatever. So you can see that there. Basically, I have like a nice little, uh, almost looks like a check mark, really, if you think about it. You know, we got like from here to here, kind of. But that's what I want. I want something right here. I'm only on focus on the bottom left for now, or bottom right for now, just so that I can start my layering. Because that's really all there is to, you know, making a smoke texture layering and layer style mode and stuff like that. So they're basically going to either be playing with normal, uh, you're probably going to be playing with uh, d divide which I'm going to probably be using for this. Uh, divide, and I believe light and color. So I think it's this one, right? You're going to be playing with these. Um, so pretty much, you know, leave it there. If you're doing some more texturing and you're doing it on black, I promise you divide, uh, like I said, divide, lighter color, and normal is probably going to be the one thing or the two, th two things, three things going to be flipping through of. So, um, yeah, we're going to use divide for this. And basically right now I have this like set, right? You got you kind of like start to see the little... Uh, the atmosphere looking, I'm pretty, I'm, if you haven't noticed, I'm, I've been sick for the entire week, so deal with me, okay? And pretty much, I'm making a new layer again. Either you can click the little little layer button right here, or control shift new, or control shift N, and you can make a new layer like that. So pretty much, I'm going to do it again. I'm actually going to do it again. I didn't, let's see, uh, clouds, and then what we'll do is, we're going to erase, like, I don't want anything here, but I kind of want something on this side. Just like so. And let's just see linear dodge or linear color. Lower the opacity a bit. And I think that's okay. Like right there. We just have a little bit of like a, almost like a fog look going here. So pretty much what I'm going to be like focusing on when I layer these like textures together and lay these smoke things together. I'm going to be doing a lot of, you know, crisscross like, you know, kind of like, you know, going 
from left to right, or uh, right to left, right to left, right to left. Reason for that is when you uh, actually the reason why this looks like really like it's behind. Like you can see that this uh, picture looks like it's behind this smoke. It looks like this right here is getting in front of this part of the uh, mouse, and all that is done. Be only, I didn't even like really, you know, um, I didn't really do much to it to make it look so unique. I just put this. Which I'm talking. What I'm talking about is the mouse itself. In between, almost all these layers, where all these layers are. So it gives it that really nice atmosphere. It doesn't look like you just uh, pasted a you know a mouse or whatever in the middle of you know your smoke. You know, it, it's it looks so good, and I can't stress it enough. So layering is definitely a thing. So with this smoke texture here, I'm gonna be using a duplicate of it. So I'm, I'm gonna be control Jing a lot to uh, make uh, make a duplicate of it. That way I can rasterize this layer and work with this one. So pretty much here. There's a lot of things you can do. You can you, you can use one texture for uh, this entire thing, and the reason for that is if you do have it rasterized, and you can just basically control T to free transform it, right click, and then you can use perspective and warp and stuff like that. So you can warp this smoke to do whatever the heck you guys really want it to do. So um, if you're wondering like you know maybe how I got uh, you know some of this smoke to look, it's like you know uh, either like like coming out or like these sparkles here is actually like a smoke texture that I just stretched a lot with this and it's it's all done with just like you know kind of like just messing around with it really really nothing else besides messing around with things and let's just see what we can do here I kind of like I kind of like this right here because it looks like it's fluffing a little bit I do like how that's looking and don't be afraid too much to erase with your eraser now if you're a person like right now I'm just using I already know in my head I'm not gonna really like you know need to go back just because it's like tutorial reasons and you know whatever but if you guys want to you guys can use um, this right here, which is like the, uh, I forgot what it's called, Lord, uh, oops, 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 I think it's called like the layer mask or whatever, the masking tool, basically, when you click on this and you, like, when you click on the thumbnail right here and you erase with the eraser, it will erase, right, that's that, and if you use a brush and we go back into it and we color it back in, you can do that, so that's a thing you can do, um, that's just in case, you know, you really just want to, you know, I guess, if you ever feel like you're a person who messes up a lot, you can do that if you want to. So just make sure your brush is all white and stuff. And then when you erase it, or when you color it in with a brush, it basically you know gets rid of the eraser. And that's just something you can do. So pretty much, maybe you should do it. I would say so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Why not, right? And really, what I wanted to work with is I'm gonna leave this on normal, and I'm gonna do something like that. Now I'm okay with like having a little bit of dark space here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this again, rasterize it. And I'm not going to really give it that uh, warp that I give the other one. So I'm just going to like put it like right here. Let's see. Let's see. Linear dodge color or divide. Let's see what divide looks like. Divide doesn't really look good. So I'll say linear color. And pretty much we're just going to take this. And let's see. We're going to warp it. Uh... There we go, and there we go. That doesn't look terrible. I'm trying to get the, like the right look, kind of like what I want to go for here. It's like the same thing I want to go for, like what I have here. It looks weird now because I have these things overlap, but yeah. Uh, I mean that's okay. It's not terrible right now. I am working without having the uh, the mouse here yet, but that's fine. I'm really I'm fine with it. You know, it's just, I'm just working with some literally just doing this the entire time, making sure I get. No, a lot of layers going on here, and kind of like want to fill space. I still want to leave like a little bit of dark space. Um, when I say dark space, is like you know, kind of like these shadows here. Where it gets like darker. It's like darker here as well, and like here, that kind of gives it depth. And I, I'm looking for that. I make sure I keep that. And let's just flip through these some of these layer styles really quick. See what I get. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with this. All right, lower it a little bit, and then maybe this smoke stock right here needs to get lowered just a tiny bit. I don't want to erase it. I just want to kind of like lower the opacity. I'm gonna lower the opacity of my eraser itself, and then erase it just like that, and see if I like that. I do like that better. All right. What about this one? Maybe a little bit there. All right. Sweet chair. Um. So pretty much now I'm pretty much good with like you know the first stocks being layered together, and now I can pretty much add my little uh, mouse here. So I'm just gonna lower this, just shrink it a little bit of scale wise, right? So I'm going to take this mouse, and I, let me see if it's in the middle. It's pretty close. There we go. All right, so pretty much I'm going to take this mouse. I'm going to take the, uh, the layer itself, and I'm going to throw it in between most of these, like, stocks right now. So as you can see, it doesn't have too much, 
you know, going on here because I still need to add more like stocks. I just want to keep it there now just so I have like a base. Now I can basically layer again, but you know, try to focus on getting these the smoke right here on top of the mouse now. So pretty much control J and then we'll rasterize the layer. And now let's go for getting smoke to be on top of the mouse and look all nice and stuff. Uh, just like so. Let's give this an erase. And don't also be afraid, by the way, if you feel like you want more light in some, uh, some places, making a new layer itself, right? And then using a white brush and then pretty much just like going over some spots and putting on either overlay or soft color will give you those like light touches that you probably are looking for just to like kind of like draw in some depth yourself. So if you want to say like, you know, I want this to be like a dark, you know, cloud spot, you can make that just do that with like using a brush like something like right there maybe make it like skinnier brush and i'm using Control alt right clicking and moving my mouse left and right to change the, uh, the diameter and we'll just say like right there as well not too much like right there eh. that's okay all right sweet so i'm not gonna put too much you know smoke on top of this uh mouse right now but i want to show you guys how to make it look really really dope and make it look like it's actually fading in between or below the uh, the you know the smoke itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the layer. I'll make sure I throw uh, throw on this like layer mask here. And pretty much I'm gonna take the eraser now. And I, I'm not gonna use like you know I'm just using a soft eraser. You know zero hardness, zero hardness. And we're just gonna basically erase just a little bit. You know I'm clicking a lot, but like we're just trying to make sure we get this pretty perfect. Now I don't want to like really get rid of. Um, I don't want to just get like, I don't want to do this basically. I don't want to like get rid of like this just because this doesn't make any sense. You know, it's, now the mouse is floating and now there's really no, it looks like there's no effort or point to like having the smoke in because it just looks like it's, it doesn't look correct. So the reason why I only erased it a little bit in one spot right here, because this is where right here, this is where the smoke is at. So pretty much when I do erase it, I'm only erasing like this right here, just so that it looks like, you know, the smoke is kind of like, you know, in front of this, but still behind like here, this mouse right here, the part of this mouse. So if you do that, you can get this really, really nice look. And soon enough, you can make it look like this and stuff. If I just like take this down. You know, soon enough, make it look like this, like it's really faded and dark back there. So if I erase the entire thing, although it's kind of like getting close to me basically erasing the entire thing, but you can still see like the logo right here, which makes it look like, you know, this is not erased completely and it looks really, really good. So pretty much now, you know, you're obviously wondering why it doesn't look as dark. We're going to go with a CC right now. So pretty much I'm going to go to my little adjustment layer and I'm going to go to my brightness and contrast and I'm just going to go ahead and make this dark and my contrast light just for now at first. And let's see. Uh, hmm. I don't want to do it too much, not just yet. That looks pretty good right there, in all honesty. I do like how that looks. Just enough. Um, so pretty much just to make it, you know, maybe if you want to copy it exactly, I'm gonna put a negative 40, and for my contrast, just leave it at 70. So now I'm gonna do is I kind of want to have like a little bit of you know blurriness to it. So I'm gonna actually um I'm gonna hold shift when I click on the top layer. I'm gonna hold shift, click on the bottom layer all the way to my, you know, my uh, background here. Control J to duplicate it, and then Control E to merge it all together. And pretty much what I'm going to uh, do is I'm gonna go to filter. Uh, we can also put like um, noise as well. I'm gonna put blur first, Gaussian blur, just a little bit of Gaussian blur, maybe like one or two percent. I say one pixel is pretty good right now. I don't want any Gaussian blur on the mouse at all. Maybe a little bit at the bottom. Um, what happened? Why did I just like... How am I using the brush somehow on the eraser? I don't get that. <laughs> that was so weird. All right, so... Let's just erase that there. So there we go, we got a little bit of Gaussian blur. I don't know if you can tell that well. I sure as hell can't. Maybe I should have put it like a little bit more up. So like one more. I don't know. Can you actually really, let me see if I, I don't know if like why it doesn't look like I have it on there. Blur, Gaussian blur. And all right, maybe it's just cause I don't have enough, like three pixels then. We'll just try three pixels and we don't want it on the eraser at all. We'll just put it in some spots just like that. Erase like over here, over there. I don't want anything over here as well. 
So pretty much, I'm just putting a little bit of, you know, just Gaussian blur. It literally only like a little bit is showing here. As you can see that just, it's just because I wanted to add some more like, you know, depth effect to it. And if you really want, so you can do this again, uh, shift click on everything, duplicate it with control D uh, J and then merge it all together with control E if you want to do it again and put maybe like a bit of noise on, you add noise, 2% uh, noise. Noise always looks good in my opinion with like black and smoke. Um, it really, I really, really think it looks like really good. Um, in my opinion, it just gives it that really nice, nice gringe tone. Um, I don't know, a sophisticated look. I just feel like if you really can't have smoke without having you know, gringe a little bit, um, noise meaning. And to me, this looks really good so far. Um, there's also like a lot of things I still need to do though. So what I'm gonna do right now is I can really tell that the black background is kind of boring me. It doesn't look correct in my opinion. And also I want a little bit more smoke on the top of this mouse. So I'm gonna do that really quick, uh, quickly as well. Rasterize this. And we're just gonna say, I like how that's like right there. Perfect actually. Lower the opacity of my eraser. And that way I can erase a little bit of this. I'll click repeatedly. And I do like that. There we go. All right, that looks pretty sweet so far. All right, so I'm gonna go back to this right here, which is the uh, little masking thing, so I can erase my uh, mouse a little bit. And you can see that it gets really heavy, like in this corner right here, and then it kind of like fades back out, and then you have a little bit of smoke here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase a little bit here, not too much, like like we just like that. All right, does that look pretty good? Yes, it does. I do like how that looks. All right, sweet. So pretty much, yeah, the whole part of this is really making sure you, you know, if you're trying to capture your audience, I mean, it look like it's, you know, smoke and stuff, make sure you're understanding where you're supposed to be erasing at. That's like the main thing. Otherwise, you, you just looks like you're placing something inside of something. And, you know, with that being said, you know, just make sure you keep that in mind. Um, We're going to make a new layer below everything besides our background here. So we're just going to make a quick little, uh, another, make sure your foreground color and your background color is black and white again. Uh, we're just gonna make another quick uh, little cloud here, just like so. And the reason why I tell you that, if you didn't, if I didn't say it before, but if you do, if you don't have black and white, if you have like a color, uh, a color and black, this white will be a color, and it's just gonna look weird. Maybe if you want to have it color wise, um, but that's just the thing. I want to make sure it's black and white, so it looks more like smoke. Um, so that's why I have that there. So I'm gonna filter really quickly, blur, and we're gonna go to Gaussian blur, and we're gonna put the blur on about nine or so. Uh, yeah, look, nine looks pretty good. So on this nine, I'm gonna take my eraser now, and I already know I don't want any of the smoke, um, you know, being hindered by this background here. So I'm just gonna make sure I erase everything until I get to like where it's kind of like only at the background right now. So there we go. It's only at the background. And I'm just gonna throw it on divide, and there we go. I do like how that looks. Uh, let's just see what happens if I put it on normal. Just lower it. I like how that looks as well. All right, yeah. So I didn't just I didn't want to have like a like a black background in the back. It looks boring. Doesn't look correct as well. So just gotta give it a little bit of distortion, a little bit of blurriness in the back, and you can start to see it's looking really good so far. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and just add a, a nice little curve really quick. Not exposure yet. I will be using some uh, exposure, but curve. <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead, and we're just gonna take this and really bring out the really dope depth inside of the smoke here. Now what I'm going for is a pretty dramatic like S curve here. Uh, it's not really, you know, it's like it's pretty dramatic. You can see how far I'm coming out and like you know how far I'm coming out on the top as well. Um, there we go. I kind of like how that looks right there. And you can see kind of these little splotchy parts around here. You're gonna find that a lot. Um, what you can do is you can kind of like lower your opacity of some things, try and start to get rid of them a little bit. But I will show you at the end how to like get rid of it completely. And actually, right now, pretty much we're almost done here. But if you add exposure right now. And we go to the offset, actually the gamma correction first. We put the gamma correction up to maybe about like 0.8 or so. Uh, no, not that high. 0.3? Oh, 0.08. Is that what I'm looking for? No, what am I looking for? What is it added originally? One, right? It's like, yeah, 0.9. That looks pretty good, right? A little bit more darker. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my offset. I'm just gonna use my scroll wheel. I don't know if you can use your arrow up key. You could use your arrow up key. So I'm pretty much just gonna go up a little bit, just enough till I can see that there's no real like you know crazy 
you know, blotchiness looking. You can see this is pretty blotchy. It looks good still, but when I put the exposure on, it looks correct. It looks like it all flows together in one, like, nice uniform design. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, so that's why I'm using exposure for You know, I'm always a fan of making sure everything looks really nice and unique and, like, you know, it doesn't look, you know, messy. I don't know. I like how it looks. So exposure is what I use to make sure I clean up the entire smoke thing and just make sure it's all good. And I'm just going to take a little bit of just randomly click inside the middle of these smokes and I'm going to go to white. It's going to put a little bit of white in some areas. So overlay and like something like right there. And like right there. Um, yeah, I do like how that looks. That's pretty sweet. Now, if you ever want to put text in as well, you can try to, you know, you can, you can just put the text in the middle of somewhere in the smoke because you can see really quickly. When I go ahead and make sure this gets a little bit bigger, I'll just put the word effect in just for now. And we'll go ahead and just take this, put this at zero. But if you want to check and see, you can see when I put it in the middle of the smokes, it's it's already giving it the uh, the look of that, you know, there's smoke in front of it. There's like this atmosphere in front of it. And that's really cool. So if you ever want to just like, you know, now you can know you can just quickly go in. I'm going to rasherize this really quickly so I can erase it. I can quickly go in and say, you know, let's get rid of a bit of a little bit. Uh, let's get rid a little bit of this F here, a little bit of this E, this C. And there's a lot of smoke coming and hitting this way. So I'm going to erase a little bit of this T. And there's smoke here, so let's make sure we erase that a little bit as well. And you can see now with the erase, uh, you know, these little erase marks, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's, you know, sitting on top of this smoke. And that's just something you can do. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave that out. But, you know, just, that's something you can do as well. I'm just going to write the word Mamba in here all cool and stuff. I'll do it for the Mamba, actually. I'll make it, like, really nice and small. And uh, we'll put it above a little bit. Uh, let's put it above everything. I'll just erase it myself. So pretty much, I'll just take that right there. <coughs> Excuse me. We're low the opacity a bit. We're gonna rasterize it. And it's gonna take my eraser here, pretty small eraser. Oops. And it's gonna erase a little bit right there. Like on the A a little bit as well, and then the M. And there we go. Now Mama's just sitting in the clouds. Looks all freaking cool and stuff. So yeah. I'm pretty much done with the tutorial itself. Like you can add more texture. Uh, more when I say texture, I mean more like you know, like smoke. Uh, you can you know you can do more, add noise to the smoke itself, or add some motion blur, some kind of blur, just to give it more depth and more form. And also making it a little more darker is always a thing you can uh, go ahead and do. I can try to add another brightness and contrast, and like kind of like see what I can do here. Um. But I don't want to ruin the blacks that I have, just because if you do it too much, you can, you can start to see, like, if I, let me see if I can dramatically make it a change. Um, if you see, like, something like this, it looks, like, cartoony. It's looking very, uh, what is, like, not polarized. It's almost like a filter in, like, you know, the, uh, whatchamacallit's, well, yeah, filter. Yeah, it looks, like, it looks really messy up here. And that's what you want to really avoid. You want to make sure it's sleek, it's really nice and clean, so you're not making dramatic changes to the CC. But, you know, it's looking, yeah, that's doing too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back down here. And I already know I have, like, a lowered by curves, you know, uh, 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 what do you call this, opacity. So I put it back to, like, 85. I can probably get darker, like, that way. Or I can just go back to, like, here and see if I can make changes down here, which won't really change much up here and make it look distorted. So that's just something like that. I think I like that a lot, actually. It came out pretty well. I do like how it came out. I won't lie. So I'm just going to, you know, add, like, the nice little Razor logo here. <coughs> Excuse me. And like boom, 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 boom. And we'll just take it. And you can see, look how like it looks. Like, it looks like smoke is already there. I'm, a, I'm such a fan of this. And it's just a really fun way of like making sure your smoke gives it that complete, you know, really cool smoke feel. So, oops, what happened? Uh, control T, and we'll just shrink it down a little bit. Now we got the Razor logo just sitting there. So yeah, I'm pretty much done with the tour. You can also add like color if you want to in the smoke. The way I would do, uh, you know, go about that, I, I tried it myself. I wasn't like really feeling the design look. But if let's say if I just want to add like yellow or something inside the smoke, um, the way I would go about it is either using soft light or overlay, which I believe soft light is the best. Soft light is the best for this. Like, you know, if you really do want to add color, a uh, new layer, let's just see what happens. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't look too good to me. But if it does look to you, uh, good to you and you have like some kind of idea you can go for, um, go like go for it. I really don't know. I'm a fan. Uh, so you can go for it. It looks pretty cool if you guys want to try it. Um, yeah. Anyway, regardless, I hope you guys really like the video. Do not forget 200 likes on the video equals the secret down below. I'll most likely give away this 
uh, really, you know, more detail. You can see like, I even have like freaking lightning in there. And the way I did that as well is I just literally took lightning from uh, Google here. I actually still have the page up. And I didn't actually even like get rid of like the black a little. I, didn't, I actually did. But as you know, that it won't completely get rid of it. I just used the magic wand tool. If I try to pencil this out, it would be like a pain in the ass. But since we're on the black background, and if you do have white lightning, using I believe divide or not divide, using color dodge will give it that feel that you know there's already a black background there's already black background as well as the uh, like this right here is black as well so divide will work and i just took <laughs> lightning and just went for it and erased it a little bit there and it gets really cool i went in pretty good detail i think in this one right here so um you can do that as well that's like another thing i did so you know i don't really want to go for it too much in here but i did do that and it did make it look pretty freaking sick so yeah Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a freaking great Friday. I'm going to try my best to make sure I get, you know, not sick <laughs> anymore. I'm really tired of it, in all honesty. And I think you guys also, so, like, I was completely surprised about how really great the tutorial did, like, the simplistic one. I'm Thank you guys so freaking much. That was really awesome of you guys. And I already said thank you guys so much for 42.5K. If I didn't already, then I, you know, boom, there we go. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SysWayHQ. Do not forget to check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SysWayHQ. I see a lot of you guys actually purchasing the, uh, purchasing the Everything Pack lately, and I really appreciate it very, very much. I will be adding a lot more stuff, I promise. I'm not just saying it. I know I'm going to. I have projects in the mind. Uh, you know, it's going to happen for sure. And, yeah, so thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you guys later. SysWayHQ out. Peace.